Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We're here today live with the founder and owner of Stress Me Not. I love the name of her company, uh, where nature meets wellness. Her name is Daisy Colon, and she's here live on the Zoom cast as well. For those of you just on the radio side of things, she's from Humble, Texas. Uh, StressMeNotLLC.com is her website. Welcome to the show. How are you feeling today? Great. Thank you for having me. I so appreciate it today. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. Please introduce yourself to our listeners. Thank you. Um, as you stated, my name is Daisy. I am the owner and founder of Stress Me Not. And what I like to say is our motto is where we are where nature meets wellness, where that balance between nature and utilizing natural medicine, so to speak, instead of over-the-counter stuff. So where nature meets wellness. Perfect. Well, exciting to have you here. So you mentioned that you're helping consumers, individuals, uh, families all find a balance in a sense, right? So let's talk about this uh, because stress has been like the biggest topic the past three years with the pandemic. Um, What brought you into helping people with stress? Are you stress-free? I wouldn't say I'm stress-free. None of us really live a life of (laughs) stress-free, but uh, using natural wellness can actually help control the stress in your life as well as other areas around your life. Um, I first came into natural wellness, I want to say more about eight years ago, where I, like everybody else, was very skeptical in regards to the whole process. You know, I didn't want to give up my over-the-counter medicine that gave me immediate gratification. You know, everyone wants that quick fix. Yeah. Um, And so, you know, I originally started out taking all these different kinds of medicines, and I had a friend introduce me to first was essential oils. And like I said, I was real skeptical, you know, I would try here and there periodically, but even in that periodic usage, I found that from five wow. medicines that I was originally on, it dropped down to four. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Okay. So, so, you know, that kind of wow. sparked a curiosity in me to try some more. Yeah. And, and so I did eventually two years down the road later, I went from four medicines now to zero. And now I control all my allergies with essential oils and natural plant-based alternatives. Amazing. Amazing. Congratulations. Wow. So the proof is in the pudding. You're your own success story. Clearly. Let me ask you, what brought you into this field? Was it that looking for the alternative side of things? And were you always in this type of business or how did you tell us a little bit more about yourself, I guess, before you founded the company? Okay. Um, well, basically what brought me to this was basically my lifestyle. Um, you know, the way I grew up honestly, wasn't the best of lifestyles. And, um, in my childhood, I didn't grow up with the knowledge and, and the benefits of using natural wellness products. You know, the extent of my knowledge of using real vegetables was what we call sofrito in my family, um, which is a combination of herbs that's ground up for seasoning of foods. But later as an adult, I realized that those same little herbs can have so many other medicinal purposes and are multifaceted in our lives. And that's what kind of sparked my, my, my interest in learning more and getting certified in natural wellness so that I can be of help to other people who want to find that alternative. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk today. You know, we have three main aspects that we want to focus on, starting off with your work. So clearly you're a coach as well, right? You're an educator Mm -hmm. and supporter. So let's start with those if you don't mind. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, One of the things that I really do enjoy doing is coaching people. Um, A lot of people don't know where to start and natural wellness isn't for everybody, but it is for you. And, and like I tell people, you don't need to jump full feet, all hands in. You can start little by little, taking little steps, you know, and, and that's the enjoyment I get It's finding that person who's curious and wants to know how to go about it. And just, we can work one item at a time. For example, um, you know, look at the hair gel you use in your home. Look at the ingredients in that hair gel. A lot of it's very toxic to our bodies and in our home, you know? And so what I do is I enjoy coaching people on on looking for an alternative um, resource for that, or even possibly just creating their own. People don't realize you can create your own hair gel with just some fresh aloe and some flax seeds. And then add the essential oils that you need to protect your your hair. And you have your own natural hair gel with no toxins and nothing that's going to affect your life. Yeah, absolutely. So it's one of the things I really do enjoy. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy coaching. I enjoy one of the biggest things I love doing are my make and take classes. Yeah. You know, people can come in, they can sit, we can have fun, you know, sip on, 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 on some essential oil water, you know, where it's healthy Mm -hmm. and, 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 and learn to make some products in your home. That's all natural. 
Yeah. You know, share it with your family, share it with your friends. You know, it, it's, it's great. I love it. Good. Well, let's talk more about, um, you mentioned, you know, you had obstacles in your life. We all have fear of a failure in a sense, right? Could you talk a little bit about that and how you transformed to this now? <laughs> it was a challenge, you know, as I stated, I didn't grow up um, knowing a lot of these things. And so with that, you know, you tend to build a little bit of insecurity. Yeah. Um, and so it was a challenge in me fighting through that and letting people know that it, I, I'm, I'm doing this because I want to do it. I'm doing this because it's a passion because I want to teach and coach and educate other people mm-hmm. and show them that there's a light at the end of the tunnel yeah. and show them that there's a way that they can live more fulfilling, healthy, long, long lives. And it's just by taking little simple steps. And it took me a while to realize and get that confidence to know that, you know, because at first I thought I had to know it all. I really did need to know it all. Mm -hmm. And the reality of it is we don't need to know it all. Yeah. Every day it's a learning lesson. Every day we learn something new. You know, I'm, I'm a work in progress in my craft. I like to say. We all, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> as we all are, you know, and I like to invite people to come and join and grow with me. Beautiful. Well, can we talk about the essential oils we're talking about here? And if you go to the website as well, don't forget stressmenotllc.com. Uh, you can start off there. Tell us what essential oils are and what are they important for? Could you give us some examples? I mean, sure. I, thank you. I mean, essential oils, basically, believe it or not, are derived from plants. Um, you know, like, for example, if you squeeze a lemon and if you rub your, your hand against the lemon, that little greasy texture uh-huh. is the essential oil from the skin of the lemon. Okay. And believe it or not, that lemon essential oil, hmm. you can put a drop of it in your water to help detoxify your body. You can use that same essential oil, that same lemon essential oil to help polish, polish the wood furniture in your home. Uh-huh. It's multifaceted and it's, you can use it for so many different things, as well as dropping a few drops of, of that lemon essential oil into a diffuser for an invigorating hmm. morning. Mm-hmm. You want to pick me up. You need some, some energy, some, something to motivate you. Drop some essential oil into that diffuser and it's going to get you motivated and going. Yeah. There's so many. One of my favorite essential oils that I love to use is called On Guard. What is that? Never heard of it. On Guard is an antibacterial blend. Okay. Um, which is wonderful. I call it my liquid gold. Uh-huh. Uh, I use it in the wintertime. I diffuse it. I, I make hand soaps out of it. I make antibacterial washes out of it. It is my go-to essential oil in the wintertime. Interesting. Yeah, I recommend anyone to use it. I mean, it is so great to have. And it's great to protect your kids, you know, especially now with RSV going around. COVID is about to come hit back again really, really I bad. Know, I know. You know, you have the, the flu. They're talking about this triple pandemic coming along this winter. I know, I'm so scary. <laughs> it is. It's very scary. But I encourage people, utilize these essential oils to help protect your body and protect your home. You know, I have to admit, I did not do the COVID vaccine. Good for and- you. I wouldn't have had to if I didn't have to. Um, you know, I didn't want to, but I had to do stuff in the city with my children. So I had to, no choice, but yeah. And I for it. you. And I, I still got it. I still got it, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. You know, but me being totally natural and believing in what I believe, you know, I'm not telling anybody not to go ahead and do the vaccine. I believe it's, but it's a choice. Mm -hmm. I chose not to, because I thought that I can help protect myself with natural um, herbs and oils. And I have, I am happy to say, knock on wood, I have yet to contract the COVID virus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Utilizing natural plant-based alternatives. Wow. So, I mean, it, 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 it's some to be said in the practice, in, in, in what I practice. And I, you know, and like I said, it's different for everyone, but I encourage everyone. You know, growing up, I did have one mentor, you know, who was, she was kind of like my guide, so to speak. Um, you know, she was an old co-worker of mine who really kind of helped me tame the rough edges, so to speak. God love her. Her name yeah. was Eileen Mullane. I hope, um, you know, I hope she's still alive and living and knows that she is true and dear to my heart. But she really helped open this door to this new world of Aww. thinking and living for me back then when I was just so lost in life. You know, mm-hmm. God brings us people for a reason. And she was that start of that for me. 
Did you want to talk more about some of the benefits? I have trouble sleeping and I don't want to take a melatonin, but what could you use for essential oils? Oh, girl, you can use some tea tree. You can use some lavender essential oil. Um, there's one essential oil blend that I like to use, um, which is um, sold by doTERRA. It's called the Serenity Blend. And I, what I like to do is I like to take that serenity blend and at night I kind of give myself a nice little massage on the body because, you know, the body needs oil. We need to kind mm -hmm. of, you know, just like the car needs an oil change, our bodies need oil changes, you yeah. know? So I, I take the courier oil of my choice. I use a blend of courier oils and I take that and I use my essential oil and I basically rub my body all at night I, and you kind of relax and get yourself into the mood of it. Got and it. then take a couple of drops of that essential oil and put it on your diffuser right by your bed. And girl, you're going to be out like a light. In awesome. Well, I have a five and seven year old, so I don't get that much out as a light, but maybe <laughs> it'll work for all of us. Is it good for children? It's definitely good for children. I would definitely, if you're going to use it on them persons, because you can rub it on a child, but I would definitely recommend it diluting it more. The dilution ratio for an adult and a child is much more higher. You definitely want to use less essential oil and more carrier oil when you're dealing with children versus with an adult. Adult can deal with more of the of the raw essential oil versus a child. Got but it. definitely, it works All for right. children. Rub it on the feet, behind the neck, behind the ears, and you can mm -hmm. even put some in a spray bottle with some Ooh. with some yeah. Take a spray bottle with some um with some natural water, okay. you want some natural water and just spray it on the bed and on the pillow for the kids at night. All right, that's good to know. Oh, okay. all right. So what other essential some... oils are we talking about? What are some of the things that people could benefit from that we may not even know about thanks to until we met you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of, the, one of the biggest things that I benefit from, I use a copaiba essential oil, which is very good for anti-inflammatory. Um, as I've gotten older, you know, we have these ailments, unfortunately, we can't get rid of that. That's just part of life. It's part of nature. But we can use these essential oils to help aid in these ailments. So for my arthritis, what I do is I take a drop of copaiba every morning under my tongue, and it helps decrease the inflammation that I get from my arterial arterial arthritis. Sorry, I get tongue tied. Wow, that's fascinating. But it, it really helps eliminate the swelling uh, from the arthritis, which helps alleviate the pain as well. So that's just one way that you can benefit from essential oils. It, it really, really, really does help. Uh, another essential oil that I like to use that I take internally is frankincense. Frankincense is the god of all oils. And it's also been known to help, um, to help aid the body's natural function in helping to prevent things like cancer and things of that nature. I'm not going to say cures because I really know we can't, we can't, I get it, but wow. Yeah, we can't, but it can help the body's natural functions to help fight some of these things off. Okay. And, and that's the main reason for essential oils. And that's the main reason why I utilize them not in, not only in my body, but in my home, you know, I, I use them for, la for laundry, for cleaning, um, for cooking. I even cook with my essential oils. I love my rosemary, which is great for cooking, but also you can use the rosemary essential oil. It's an antibacterial as well. You can use it for hair growth as well to help stimulate hair growth. There's so many different ways you can and use these essential oils. I was going to ask that. I have suffered. These are hair extensions. I have horrible, weak, feeble, like hair. Um, mm -hmm. And I've tried everything. Prenatal vitamins was like the thing the doctor swore. Oh no, go get like the stem cell therapy treatments. Oh, so spend money and did nothing. Um, I, I'm, I want to try like PRP next, but I don't even want to waste the money. I'm like, I'm going to just keep using extensions, but I never heard about essential oils. Where would you put it? Like in your root, like on the scalp? Yeah, just spray. Just You can do it several ways. You can create okay. an oil or okay. you can create a spritzer. What you can do is you can actually take the actual rosemary herb you or froze you for a use second the oil. Okay. Use the essential oil okay oh, sorry. um if you use the essential oil just take a couple of of, of the essential a couple of drops of the essential oil into that water spritzer bottle and then spray it and massage it into the roots of the scalp because that way it'll stimulate the regrowth of the hair okay uh, another thing you can also do uh, a lot of people don't know this um but it's very very um common in india is rice water really mm-hmm I don't even take know what rice water is, to be honest with you. <laughs> you take a cup of rice, rinse yeah. it out because you want to you want to eliminate that initial stuff? starch. Yeah, yeah. Right? that's what I do for the rice that I cook for my boys. Okay. Okay. And then they take that same rice water, 
put it in a cup of water and let it sit for at least 12 to 24 hours. Wow. Now, the longer it, it, it's going to smell because it ferments. Okay. But you take that same rice water and rinse it through your hair. And as you're rinsing it in your hair, comb your hair and massage your scalp with that rice water. It helps stimulate growth in your hair. Wow. Yeah. All right. It's, I'll give it a try. It's so simple. People just don't realize it's those little simple steps by using natural alternatives versus going to get hair implants, mm-hmm. you know, Try that on natural way. Believe me, the people in, look at these women out in India. Look at their hair, how wow. beautiful and luxurious and long it is. These are people, these are these, these are practices that they've been practicing for years. And, you know, we're just now getting hit on what they've done. It's, yeah. Wow. Interesting. I'm learning something new. This is great. I love what I do for a living. I get to talk to great people like yourself that have these great <laughs> ideas, great knowledge about stuff I just never knew about. Um, by the way, again, if you're just tuning in, stressmenotllc.com is the website. You can go right there to our online store. Uh, just to I, I read this before. I'm a newbie just getting started and it'll take me a bit. I'm going to gradually move over to natural oils. This is from Lori Denton for my supplements and as well as some back pain and inflammation and anxiety, right? Mm-hmm. Um, my I went to the uh, doctor this morning for back pain. So what essential oil could help? Like Lori, you clearly helped her with some stuff. And unfortunately, when I click to go further, it doesn't open. But she was saying great things about you. Which, uh, (laughs) what was she, tell me, what do you know what Um, she- Basically what she was talking about was a pain blend that I've made, that I've created to help with- um, That's the lenitive? It's called lenitive. I okay, I, okay, lenitive. Okay, that was my other question. What was that? Okay, perfect. I named it lenitive. And it, and again, Again, like I told you, I suffer from arthritis. So I wanted to find natural alternative versus using Advil, Aleve, or anything of that nature. I didn't want to continue to put that stuff in my body. So I came up with a natural alternative topical ointment, which is lenitive. And basically what I do is I just put that on wherever I'm feeling that pain. Okay. And in just a matter of time, you just feel... I don't know how to explain it because it's not like this all of a sudden relief. It's just this gradual feeling of where you, the subtle ease of pain and just okay. more mobility, you know, okay. you feel a little bit looser. Your joints are not so tight. You can move the fingers and the bones where you are aching and having that stiffness from. Yeah. And so that's kind of my blend that I created. And it's one of my passion. And it's one of the fav- one of my favorite things that I have recently created. Wow. Awesome. Yes. yes. Congratulations. All right. What else do we want to talk about here? No, we're kind of out of time. I'm posting on my next show for five weeks. We have five more minutes together. Um, I let them know in advance. So what else do you want to talk about, sweetheart? Because there's so much to you and your practice still. <laughs> there is so much, you know, but the biggest thing I want to get people to understand is that, you know, start somewhere. I don't care where you start. I don't care what essential oil company you use, because to me, it's not about the, the company itself. Yeah. It's about you utilizing the resources that are out there for you. Yeah. And if you're not sure what resources out there for you, connect with us here at Stress Me Not. We can help guide you to those resources. And, and I said, at the end of the day, my passion is about getting the word out to people, letting them know, start small. Yeah. That small little step can have a huge impact for your Total life and your family. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the message I want to get across to people. Just try it. Try okay. it, try it, try it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. Other people come to you for what other reasons? Just curious because there's so many other things that you can help with. A lot of people just come to me for just some direction for coaching and for, you know, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about today is, is an allopathic approach. Yeah. You know, you, a lot of people really come to me for coaching for the holistic approach to it, yeah. you know, working to heal their body from within, you know, so that way they don't have these ailments to where they have to deal with an allopathic approach on the outside of it. Amazing. You know, unfortunately I have to take an allopathic approach yeah. to a lot of my ailments because I didn't know all of this in the beginning to heal yeah. me internally. Mm-hmm. But again, what, Oh, God, God, I have a question. No, but again, it's a process. Yeah. Digestive issues. I have like serious IBS, they say. Is there something natural that could help us with that? Oh, she's got a hand up. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, I recently found out that my family has an issue of, 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 of bowel problems. You know, I have a sister who now 
is living with a colostomy bag permanently. You know, mm-hmm. I have a brother who has severe IBS issues, you know, and so I've been, and that's been my passion really is focusing and learning on how to prevent me from getting to that extent, you know? And so what I tell people, take your probiotics. Yeah. Probiotics are so important to your gastric system. You know, I take a probiotic from doTERRA, but at the end of the day, it's important that you practice probiotics. Use, I, I incorporate turmeric in my diet. I incorporate ginger in my diet. You know, everything that is gastric friendly to help cleanse and, and restore your gastric system. That is the best thing that I can recommend for anyone. Right. Honestly speaking, it's a process and it takes time to heal your gastric system, but there's a lot of things that I can definitely recommend and suggest that will help you along the way. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Tell us again, how do we talk, call you, contact you? Tell us all forms of contact, please. Basically, you can get a hold of me at my website. You can reach my website is www.stressmenotllc.com. Or by all means, email me. My email address is smn at stressmenotllc.com. I look forward to getting those emails, all those questions. Bring them on. I got you. This is where you want to be. Our one-stop shop. And shipping, you is there like a, a amount, a certain amount you buy to get free shipping? Is there any promotions available people should know about? Holidays coming up, gift packages, the gifts. We What's definitely that? have some gift packages okay. coming out for the holidays. Um, if you can mention this web webcast, you'll definitely get 25% off um off, off products over a hundred bucks. So by all means, come out to this website. Awesome. Love it. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you, Daisy. Great to see you here in Likewise. person as well. And thank looking forward to the next time we get to speak. Thank you again. Have a great day. And to all of our listeners, thank you as well. Stay tuned. More of the show's on the way. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search podcast business news network on streamer.com and online radiobox.com slash us take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action broadcasting from the business capital of the world this is the podcast business news network For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.